going on guys? Noah from Kicking the Rats TV and I've been getting questions from what type of rod to use, um, what's a good starter rod, and all, all kinds of questions about rods. So today I'm pretty much going to talk about what is the best for you and what kind of rods I use, which most, most of you guys already know what I use. I use St. Croix rods. Um, as you can tell I have one of their new jerseys on, fitted jerseys. Um, St. Croix rods, I've been with them for a while now, I've used their rods for a while and I, I absolutely love them and there's a few reasons why I really love them and not only are they great rods, um, they have a selection. They have a rod pretty much for everybody. Say you're in a price range of $100, you can go with the Mojo Bass. You know, say you're in a price range of $400, you can go with the Legend Extreme. You know, it, it, That's what I like about St. Croix rods. They have a rod pretty much for everybody. Um, and so I'm pretty much going to go through a few of the styles um, and what I would look for in a rod if you guys were looking to get one. Um, and this isn't only a video for beginners and all. This is a video for everyone as well, especially if you're looking into getting some St. Croix rods. So start off with the Mojo Bass by St. Croix rods. Um, you can go check it out on their site. This is one of the most inexpensive rods that they make. It's around $100 and it's a phenomenal rod. I actually have a friend that went and bought he went and bought one, and because he knows I use them, he went and bought one um, Mojo Bass, and he actually ended up going back and buying six more. And I'm, I'm not kidding, he's probably gonna watch this video and comment. Um, but he went and bought like six more, so he has like a whole deck of rods now. Um, but the Mojo Bass, like I said, they're really, um, the cost of them, pretty much most people can afford them for what you're gonna pay for a bass fishing rod if you're gonna want it to be quality. Um, so around $100. And, this one, I believe, is a top order, or this one's a jerk bait rod. Um, I have one that is a crankster rod. It's called a big crankster, or the crankster, just depending on how big of a crankbait you're throwing. But the crankster, it's a Mojo Bass glass rod. I guarantee you, it's the best cranking rod out there. Like it, it's phenomenal, and I'm not just saying that because I'm affiliated with St. Croix. I'm saying that because it is literally the best cranking rod out there. I've, I've handed it off to some friends in the boat. And it, you can't even feel the crankbait. Like usually a big old crankbait, like a 10 XD, will wear you out. It will not wear you out whatsoever. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into. Like I said, it, it all depends on price range for the most part, especially with how how people are um, with price nowadays. So people are looking for what's going to be the best deal for the bang of your buck. Um, here's a Rage Rod by St. Croix, which is going to be more the medium style range rod, as in price range goes. Um, that one's great as well. Honestly, I do not believe if they make that anymore or not. They said they're gonna stop making it, but I'll, you can still find them. Um, I know my friend saw some of dicks and stuff that you can get. Um, this is one of the more higher end quality ones, and this is my favorite one. So if you're looking for the best of the best, if you're looking for the Mac Daddy, the best rod, um, the most sensitivity and everything, this is a Legend Extreme. Um, as you guys know, you see me recommend them in the videos. They are gonna be a little more pricey than these, but if you're looking to spend a little bit more or you have a little bit more money to spend on a rod, I would definitely recommend going with the Legend Extreme. What I really like about it is not only is it really sensitive, um, the eyelets are a little bit smaller, like the micro eyelets, um, but the handle, the handle I just love. I'm not the biggest fan of a full cork handle or even like split grip handles where it's just part cork. I'm just not the biggest fan of cork. That's when I like really like the Rage Rod in the Legend Extreme because I really like this handle on there. Um, it's kind of rubbery feeling. I'm not exactly what, what that's made out of, but um, really like that super light rod, really sensitive. So if you're looking for a really good high quality rod, definitely go with that or a Christmas present, anything. Um, and here's the rod I'm pretty much gonna recommend to all of you right here. If you guys are wanting a rod that you you're wanna spend a little bit of money on, you want a rod that's gonna last you forever. Not saying that the Mojo Bass isn't gonna last you forever, but saying that this is gonna be more of the advanced fisherman's rod. Um, this is the Legend Tournament by St. Croix Rods. It does have a split grip handle. Um, it is cork, but I still like it. Um, if I could pick, like Legend Extreme's my favorite. If I could pick a second rod, it'd definitely be um, the Legend Tournament by St. Croix Rods. These range from around $200, $250. Um, just depending on where you go purchase it at. But definitely, it's going to definitely be worth the money. Um, it'll last you a long, long time. If you ever have any problems with your rods, you can always contact St. Croix. They'll take care of you. Um, but yeah, this rod is very light as well. As you can tell, I mean, I can't hold it all to you. I wish I could, but it's a very light rod. Um, 
and is really sensitive. So I really, I really like the Legend Tournament. So if you're looking for that rod that's going to be top notch um, and still has a great price, definitely Legend Tournament. Here's one of their newest ones. This is the Avidex. Haven't got to use this too much to be honest. I'm, I did a review on it. Really like the eyelids on it. They're much smaller. Um, it does have a split grip handle and it's pretty light rod. Um, compared to the regular Avid, which has a full cork handle, this one has a split grip, which I like split grip much more. Um, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of cork, so the ones with the full cork handle, I tend not to use as much as like the Legend Tournaments and the Avid X. But, um, I hope this gave you guys a few tips. If it did, please give the video a thumbs up. But pretty much just going from this point, what I'm saying is if you guys are looking for a great rod, definitely go check out Synchro Rods. And for more of the reason is they're going to have your price range. They're going to have the sensitivity wise. What are you looking for? Are you looking for a rod that's in a 200 buck range? All right, I'll recommend you this one. You know what I mean? That's what I really like about Synchro Rods. And not only do they have all these styles, which just because the Mojo Bass is cheaper and then moving up to the Legend Extreme, that just means the sensitivity is going to get better and um, so forth. Um, the eyelids may get smaller. They just do little adjustments to the reels. They may have a split grip handle. Um, so it pretty much fits everyone. There's a style for everyone at St. Croix Rods. Um, and what's also good about them is they don't just have, I would say, just a heavy power rod. Each one has their specific breakdowns. They have medium heavy, they have heavy. They have medium, they have medium light, so they have medium heavy, um, they have a 7.8 medium heavy, or they have a 7.8 heavy because it's for a swim bait, or they have a 7.2 medium heavy. Um, they just have all kinds of selection. They have literally like 20 freaking setups or 20 different actions and powers for each one of those rods. So definitely go check them out. I'll leave their link below. If you have any more questions, try to comment below and I'll try to get back to you you guys know I'm really busy, but I try to get back to all the comments and I'll be sure to read them. You can also um, comment on some of my photos on Instagram. I'll try to get back to you. Instagram, I emailed them. Um, my DM is still messed up. I'm trying to clear it. And I, I really want to just wipe the DM of all messages and just start over, but it's not that easy. I'll literally have to go individually and delete it. But my, my DM's not working when I try to accept the DM half the time and deletes them. I don't know why, but I email on Instagram, like I said. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you got a few tips out of it, please give the video a thumbs up. See you guys next time. Purchase your tracks today.